please, that you're very consistently concerned about land reclamation activities by China. But some people in China point out that, in fact, China is hardly the first country to do so. Uh, Vietnam, the Philippines did that in the past, but in th those cases, the U.S. was not so eager to project their anger or protest. Uh, look, I, I'm Is not going to, again, here? we're not taking individual uh, positions on individual claims, but I think it's a far cry and a stretch to, to compare what China has done in just recent months and certainly over the last year or so with land reclamation and militarization with any such potential like situations from other countries in, in the region. There's absolutely no way to compare the scope and, and, and the size and the character of but it. From your statement this afternoon, it seems that uh, Washington can imply, if not dictate, uh, what countries in the region in South China Sea should or should not do based on a piece of treaty, UNCLOS, which, of course, the U.S. did not um, ratify. This administration, and along we with others, to, we tried to push to for it, but you never get a two-third majority in the Senate. We continue to urge the Senate to ratify. We've, uh, this administration US... has been very, very clear about that. Uh, but we still abide by the central tenets of it, even though we're not on a signer. But we abide by the central tenets. Do you think the U.S. loses kind of the moral authority to do that when it does not ratify Th it? This isn't about expressing moral authority. Um, and I kind of reject the implication in the question. This isn't about the United States projecting moral authority. This is an international tribunal uh, which, came, which came up with a legally binding decision that the United States didn't influence. We said before that they reached it, that it would be legally binding. So did the world. Now they've reached it. It's still legally binding, and the world is going to be watching what both claimants do in terms of meeting their obligations on this. As I said at the outset, the United States doesn't take a position on individual claims. We do take a position on coercion, and, co and part of coercion is the potential militarization of land features uh, that, that appear to have only one uh, outcome in mind, and that is to press, uh, potentially through force, uh, these claims. When, when, when those claims ought to be settled through exactly this kind of a process.